Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make this white rondelle and seed beads bracelet. It's easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make it by yourself. If you want to support me, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, a link to PayPal donations to develop this channel, link to all my social networks. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook or Instagram pages. I will be so happy to see your creations. And uh, another thing I want to tell you is that I have a second channel where I post fast clips to some of my most famous and most liked videos. So you could go there and check them out just to have fun and enjoy the process of creation and to save time if you want. Okay, so now I'm going to start with the list of the material. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of 11 seed bead silver and red. Here I use these faceted crystals also called rondelles. They are 4 by 6 millimeters. This is toggle clasp and you could use regular clasp if you want, but for this project I prefer to use this type of clasp. Uh, these are two jump rings. This is Nemo beading thread which is size D. This means 0 0.2 millimeters. Uh, this is size 10 beading needle scissors. And these are pliers, I use them to attach my clasp to my work. Okay, so now I'm going to take about two and a half feet of thread on my needle, which is 75 centimeters, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and I'm back, and what I'm going to do first is to pick up 16 silver beads. Okay, guys, and now what I have here are 16 silver beads, you see, and I'm going to slide those down and I will stick here my needle on my, in my mat and I want to make a knot and I'm making my knot, guys, by making a loop and going with my tail thread twice or three times through that loop I've made and then I pull gently making sure that I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from then I will make one more knot just to be sure that it's all tight and secure okay and then I will go in this direction through some beads and pull. Okay, so now I have this and in my next step I'm picking up three thread seed beads and I'm going back in circle through this seed bead I'm exiting out of. Okay, and pull. Now I will go two beads away from here and I will make another element and it will consist of five silver beads. Okay, here guys I have my five beads and I'm going back in circle through this one and if you can in one movement also go through the next two beads. Okay. Now I'm going to repeat this step. I'm taking three red beads, okay, just like this. Going back through this one and then through the following two. Okay. 
then again five okay five I go back and I go through the next two okay guys and now I'm going to repeat this one more time So now guys I have this and what I want to do next is go through this red bead in this direction and I want to add one silver here, go through the red one at the edge and add one more silver here. Okay, just like this then go through those two silvers in this direction and this time add one red go through the silver that's sticking out the most one more red go through those two beads that are on my way okay and through the one in the center then go through this red one and repeat those steps one silver go through the red one more silver go through the red and through the one that's in the center go through those two beads and take one red go through the silver one more red go through the other two silvers and through the one that's in the center okay and i will continue this the same way until the end of this row Okay guys, and now I finish this row. Don't use monofilament for this project because your work will start bending. Use um, this type of nylon thread that I'm using here. Okay, so now I'm in my next row and I'm taking three seed beads and I'm going here as I'm exiting through one of my silvers that I added in the last row I'm going through the other one okay now I have this then I'm going to take one seed bead and go here through this red one at the edge okay and I'm going to take three seed beads just like this and go through the other red one more red go through the silver and I'm connecting those two silvers with three silvers then I take one red go through the red and 
and I connect those three reds with another three red seed beads. Okay, then I take one red and go through the silver, take three silvers and go through the silver. Okay. And I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. And pay attention here at this last step to go through this silver one here. Okay, so now I have this and what I want to do next is go here in the center of my work. In the central place. Okay, the central ring I mean. And as I'm exiting here through this silver that is just under the red ones, the three red ones, I'm going to take one by four by six millimeter crystal rondelle and I'm going in the same place just under those three red beads, which is the opposite, and I'm going in the same direction where my thread is pointing to. And I'm going to pull just like this. Okay, I'm pulling. This is my tail thread. And I think, guys, now is the time to cut my tail thread because otherwise it will be on my way all the time. Okay, now what I want to do is reinforce this circle here I'm going again through the crystal several times through the center of my crystal because I want to attach it to stay nice and tight okay and I will just go around several times reinforcing this one here and when it stays nice and tight in the center I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys and when I went around several times here through this crystal this is what I have. I have it attached here in the center and you see how my work is wider in this direction and shorter in this direction. Oh, this is the wanted effect and this is because of this central bead here. And now what I want to do next is to make another element like this. Okay, you see I have this one. It is the same element and I still haven't cut my thread. I have two elements with thread that is not cut and I'm going to show you how to attach them in a bracelet. Okay, but first before I attach them, what I want to do is go in this direction and here at the shorter side of my crystal, you see this is the wider 6 millimeter side and this is the 4 millimeter. And at this side, I will go at the edge here. And I'm going to take five seed beads. Okay, I'm having five seed beads here. And I'm going around in circle through this seed bead. Now, here is the place where I'm going to attach my clasp at the end of this tutorial. Okay, so now 
what I do is that I reinforce this part here. Okay, now I'm exiting here between those two red beads and I want to make a knot and I'm making a knot by making here a loop and what I do is that I go once and that, then I go second time through this loop I've made. I make sure that I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from. Then I go through the following seed bead and you could repeat this step several more times but when you're ready go always go through the following seed bead and then cut your thread okay. If you want to reinforce more and make more knots you're welcome I'm just showing, showing it faster okay now I'm going to show you how to attach your next element. Okay, and here I have another element like this and I want to attach it to this one at the shorter side. I mean the crystal is shorter at this side and this is how I'm attaching it in my bracelet. Okay, so now I'm taking one red bead and as I'm exiting here from this silver, I went around from the center to through this silver with the thread of camera. And what I do is that I go here through this silver that's next to it, okay, from my previous element, okay, and I take one more red seed bead and I go back here. You see, I go back here through this one. Now I need to reinforce. Okay, I reinforced this one and now I want to exit here. Then I go through these three red beads in this direction. Now I'm situated where I want to be. Okay. And now I'm going to take four silver beads. Okay, I have four silver. You could take three if you want, but I like that here a little band is formed when I attach them. Okay, a little band. Okay, and now I want to go in this direction. Again, I'm exiting through these three seed beads and what I want to take are four silvers. Okay, I have my four and I'm going here again in this direction. Okay, and what you could do is go one more time around those bands reinforcing them then make a knot and cut your thread it is the same way that i showed you before and after that take another element like this make it and don't cut your thread and use it to attach it to this one and in this way i'm going to continue until the end of this bracelet if you forgot how i'm doing something just rewind the video check the previous steps repeat them and this is until the end of this bracelet nothing complicated nothing difficult okay and i'll be back to tell you how to finish your bracelet when i'm ready okay guys and when i continue beading this is what i have you see i'm here where i'm just connecting my last element to my bracelet and 
what I want to do next guys is go in this direction and make the last loop and finish my bracelet and see how I'm doing this. Okay, I'm exiting here at the edge and I'm taking six seed beads. Uh, sorry, five seed beads. Okay, I have my five here and I'm going back in circle through this seed bead and I'm going to reinforce this. Okay, and now what I want to do is make a knot and cut my thread. Okay, and how I'm making my knot, I showed you already once, but I will show you one more time. I'm making here a loop between two beads, going twice through this loop I've made, pull, then go through the following seed bead, repeat those steps several times and when you're ready always go through the following seed bead and then cut your thread okay now guys it is the last part is coming where I want to attach my clasp okay here at this place and how I'm doing this I'm first taking my jump ring I open this one I open this one like this and I put it here at my loop of beads. Then I take here this part of my toggle clasp and I squeeze back my jump ring in the same direction that I opened it. Okay, so this is what it is. And I will repeat it at the other part of my bracelet and I'll be back. Okay guys, and when I repeat those steps one more time, this is what I have. I have the other part of my toggle clasp attached and you see this bracelet, how beautiful it looks. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button. And in this way, you will be notified when I make new absolutely free tutorials two times a week. And uh, you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page or on my Instagram page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, a link to PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all of my social networks. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye from me.